Welcome back. It's two plus polities. Let's move away from southwest to the south south. It has been confirmed that the six governors of the south south region will meet in Port Harcourt River State under the umbrella of the Forum of South South Governors to discuss issues around the mining of gold in Zamfara State. The meeting is coming shortly after Delta State Governor Ifain Okoa had expressed worry at the decision of Zamfara State to assume exclusive right to solid minerals in the state, particularly the gold deposit. He vowed that the South South State will resist any discriminatory acts that disobeys the constitutional provision on ownership of mining rights in Nigeria. Joining us to discuss this, we have, uh, he's currently in Ibadan Oyo State, uh, Mr. Opunabo in Kutaria. Good evening, Mr. In Kutaria. Good evening, my brother, Akayadi. Yeah, and also here in Lagos, we have Alester Wilkos, who, interestingly, both of them are from River State. Good to have you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Thank you. No, I'm suspecting in Kutaria with his cap now. He's here to talk about resource control. And that's resource control cap. Oh, that's why, that's why I have the cap on. Huh? Okay, let me start I with have you. It on to talk about resource control. Okay, good. Let me, let me start with you. Uh, have you taken time to look at uh, the legitimacy of these governors? And what exactly do you think they are driving at? In Kotaria okay, now. Which governor? The South South governor? Yes, the South South governor. But only if you talk of legitimacy, of course it is quite a legitimate ag agitation. Uh, but legality, well, the hands are set up by the draconian decree, the Land Use Act of 1978, which uh, I refer to as very, very unfair, for there can never be a crueler tyranny than that perpetrated under the shield of the law. I want to believe that ever since we are cozened into this travesty called Nigeria, we have just been floundering in a morass of administrative procedures. Since nine, the, when we had the region, the Ojuku, Gowon, Antibellum, when we had the region where the regions were quasi autonomous, they controlled their resources and paid taxes to the federal government. In other words, we practiced a central federal system of government as against a central federal system of government, which was very close to democracy. People talk of um, true democracy and no true democracy. There is no such thing as true democracy and no true democracy. It's either you're practicing democracy or you're practicing the antithesis of democracy. So unless we revert to that era, which is democracy, we have the states will control their resources and pay taxes to the federal government. But unfortunately, for some selfish reason, go on abrogated that system and created states. I'm talking of the regions and created states. And that is the genesis of our problem. However, the southern governors are detaining simply because it will be a clear case of injustice. When I say the, not, the, uh, the southern governors are affected by the Land Use Act, this also applies to the governors of every other state in this country. Because the Land Use Act is applicable in every state, all over the federation. Okay. Therefore, it will be manacle segregation and change discrimination. Should Zamfara be allowed to control its goal, while in the South, the federal government is controlling and to our detriment by exploitation and exploration, controlling our own resources. Okay. Yes, we are not going to in allow. Kotaria. No major Kotaria. 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 Will book such injustice. Okay, please. And uh, that is why the let me just, government uh, are saying no. Okay. Um, please, um, because of time and uh, because it's a conversation, let's try and uh, make some of our submission 
quite punchy and straight to the point. So Alester Wickers, let me get your opening remark uh, on this issue because a lot of people felt, is this another form of nepotism? Well, um, if, you, if, 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 if I may offer my opinion here, I want to think that uh, some people are trying to jump the gun or uh, preempt kind of suspicion. Are, are you hearing me? Very well. Very well. Am I clear? I, Very I well. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Preempt some, yeah, preempt some kind of uh, suspicion that may not be founded. Uh, in recent times, we understand it, the, the, the gold deposits in Zafara uh, was becoming clear in that there were a lot of gold deposits in Zafara, which he thought to has always been exploited by middlemen and by um, and by uh, and through uh, the black market, or so to say, and and I think government is trying to fashion out a framework where that gold uh, deposit can be uh, better harnessed. I'm not aware of any legislation or any any circular or memo that is vesting the gold resources in Zamfara. So Zamfara State Gold, I'm not aware. I'm only aware that. Uh, the presence of gold in Zamfara in commercial quantity is receiving attention at the highest level of government of, of governance of, of governance in this country. There's a, there's a mineral act of Nigeria that is still operational in Nigeria, whereby uh, every mineral resources is vested in the federal government, which is not different from what happens in most other countries of the world. So uh, if the, if there is commercial if there is gold in commercial quantity in Zamfara, I do not think. In that any act has vested or any law, existing law today, will vest those gold resources. If it's going to be, if, if it's commercially viable, will be better than Zamfara. It can't happen because we are in a democracy and the laws of the land are supreme to any executive order or whatever. What Nigerians need to do at this point is not to create another war or start another rat race where we have passed long ago in order to start creating fermenting trouble, is for Nigerians to be on, be, to, 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 through the National Assembly or through relevant agencies, bring these issues out. So for me, the, 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 the move by the Southern State Governors is not out of place in order to draw attention to the fact that these things exist, but not another opening to start asking for resource control. We have passed that level long ago. Like my brother is talking about the regions. The regions ended in 1967. So this idea of talking about region, 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 it has ended in 1967. Even, even countries like the uh, United Kingdom that has nationalities that made them up. You have the British, uh, you, have, sorry, you have the English, you have the Wales, you have the Scottish. You know, they are not talking about regional, the regional governance any longer. They are able looking at West Minister for everything. Rather, there is some level of autonomy. But resources are still vested in West Minister. Even the, U okay, even the Alesta, U.S. resources, Alesta, mineral resources are Alesta, vested. let me quickly interject. I want to stay with you. Let me quickly interject. There's something I'd like you to quickly uh, explain. Now, that region has ended does not mean statism has ended. In other words, we still have federating units. And the cry here is not really about region. It's about resource control. So... Quickly respond to this. Are you saying that the call for resource control should also be discarded even when there's nothing like region? I agree with you in the Constitution. Alessa, quickly, before I go back to Opunabo. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Sorry, 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 I didn't get that. I think Opunabo was trying to... I was trying to say something. I didn't get your question. Okay, let me... Yeah, will to correct to make make a comment. Yes, you yes. will can correct. You will correct, Opunabo. Let me... Let me, let me to make it Opunabo, you, you will you. have you, time brother. to correct. I did not say we should revert. Can you hear me, please? Okay, go ahead. Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, I did not say we should revert to regionalism. No. I just used that as an example where the region had... We are quasi autonomous. And so, in that same breath, the states the federation unit okay. can also be quasi autonomous. I just use the region as an example, not that we should revert to it. We cannot revert to it. No. But I said that was most likely our golden era 
ever since we came together as a country. Because they also had healthy development, and they have had between the north, among the north, the south, and the west. That is the point I am making. Not that we have to revert to it. But uh, so in that same breath, the states can as well control their resources. You made mention of America. In America, if uh, any uh, 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 natural resource that is found at the back here, of course, you, you, you are entitled to a very large percentage. In fact, you pay taxes. That is what is sustainable over there. Your point is clear. Yes. Can I, so, can I, get, uh, can I get your, 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 your question again, Nekade, please? Exactly what so, he said. So I only said that. that sorry, Opunabo, can you I, please I allow that, me to moderate? That, okay, okay. Let, let, let me moderate this discussion. Now, uh, close to what he said, what I was saying is that, good, there is no regionalism again in our constitution, but we have statism, we have states as subnational. And I'm saying that the call for resource control, should it also die, just like we don't have regionalism again in our constitution? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, for me, uh, Kaede, I said with all emphatic that uh, call for resource control, not mineral resource control should have died long ago. Because these states we are talking about, they are giving back. They are not autonomous. They are given back by the, federal, by the constitution, by the federal government. Every state was created by the federal government. Now, the regions came out, out of, before independence. Remember, the regions were there before independence. And as independence, they, they, they continued. The constitution then allowed them. But since they gave way, they no longer exist. So there's nothing like Federating units in Nigeria any longer. Every state was given back to by the government. So the issue of resource control should have long died because those, those states are not autonomous. For instance, a state that like never created in 1967 has been broken in 1996 by Sandy Rivers. So who is breaking them down? So what's the autonomy there? There is no autonomous state any okay. longer. Okay. Now the constitution has given power and Alessa. rights to states in the, both the exclusive, the concurrent. And the, uh, in the concurrent list. Okay, so good. They Alistair, work within that Alistair, list. you have done well by talking about health, just health, making health your point clear. Okay, sorry. Alistair, please, let's make it short. Your point is quite clear, but I must say that it's very, very unusual, very, very uncommon uh, uh, position you've taken. So, in Kotaria, if I understand what Alistair is saying, and I quickly want your response on that. Now, it's reminding us that the kind of federating unit we have is different from that of United States, where these states agree to stay together, unlike these states that are created by the national. Don't you think this is a is new argument that we are seeing about you resource see, control? No, no, I, I completely dissent, completely, because uh, first and foremost, we took America as our role model. We are practicing the American democracy. We ought to, sorry, practice the American democracy, but we are not practicing the American democracy. Now, when you talk about the federating units, the center should be weak. It's wrong. For example, now we have about 62 items on the exclusive list. That is no democracy. That is no federalism. That is antithesis, antithetical to federal, federal system of government. What we should have are the states. I'm not saying they should be autonomous, but I said quasi autonomous. They have to be, in other words, you should have about maximum 10, 15 things on this exclusive uh, list of the federal government, and the rest is all devolved to the state. If you talk of the natural resources, for example, we have oil in River State. Now, when it was cocoa, it was 50% derivation. The producing area had enough to produce their areas. Now we have oil in River State. It is the federal government that will decide what we are going to take our own share from that from that resource. Not minding the fact that it is our flora and fauna that is being destroyed. Not minding the fact that we we die on every second. On every second, we are close to our grave as a result of the pernicious air we need. So much spirited out of the system with little or nothing to show for it. That okay. is because of. Because of the fact, every time the state government run to the federal government, come in hand to beg for money. This is wrong. Okay. Now they have gold. That's what I'm fighting to control the gold. If we talk of federalism, okay. we should control our resources. Open up. 
Yes, um, I'm just, just going to give you both of you 60, 60 seconds. Oh, no, I don't have up to that. I'm going to give you 30, 30 seconds to cap it up. Uh, Alester, I must say that your position sounds quite very, very unpopular. And I, I, I don't know whether you allow me to call you anti-restructuring. <laughs> anti Are you saying that this call for resource control, especially knowing that you're from River State, what in the world would you make you say that that is not the way to go? No, um, I, I want to I want to greet my brother. He's not dying. He's not going to his grave. He's looking very robust. So this idea that <laughs> the people in River State are dying, he's looking very robust and looking very very healthy. <laughs> he's not, he's, there's no way he's dying anywhere. <laughs> so let's see the people. Your that. time is I'm going. <laughs> The truth of the matter is this, uh, Kayode. As at the time my brother was talking about cocoa and granite, he was talking about agricultural production, not, not mineral resources. As at that time, the southeast was on palm, palm, uh, palm, palm trees and the palm canal and all those things. There mm -hmm. was there was there was uh, there was coal in the southeast, but it was again controlled by the federal government, not by the eastern eastern state government. But all of that produce, agricultural and other trading, yes, it's controlled by their regions. The cocoa in, in, in the West was grown by cocoa, by the Western, the granules. They were, these were all agricultural, which, as I say, the states control their own resources. Their IGRO doesn't go to the federal government. They are agricultural. If today cocoa is in, is, 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 is in the production in their life, there's no federal government present in cocoa. But when it comes to bitumen, bitumen is mineral resources. That's why they cannot explain bitumen. Okay. I agree that the fact that some things need to be. Your time is up, Alessa. But not that. We should be taken off 1960 when we are on a, an agrarian economy. So now that we are a, a, a mineral resource based economy, it's not the same thing, my brother. Okay, let good. Us, let us compare apple okay. to apple. No, 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 and, and no, no. Thank you so much, Alessa. So that's the issue. No, let, let your no, brother no, no, react. No, no, no. We, are, we are looking at paradigm. Just things I just, I, I just, I just examples. We are looking at, for example, now, you can, it, it does not mean that because they did add maps for those of us who were. Who did add that when we were in school? Because we did add math in uh, 1960. That means the add math we did in 1960 is different from the add math we are doing today. No, that's all right. So I'm just using that as an example. Yes, that means that an example. I know, I know, sir. I know, I know. Your, your time exactly. is your time is up now. Thank you so much. I think your positions are I don't know. They stand different. And then uh, let's allow. I don't know that the father cannot control the okay. It's not possible. So situation, it cannot happen. situation will it tell uh, in the days to come. I'm sorry, gentlemen. We have to say thank you to both of you. That's Opunabo in Kutaya, a public affairs analyst who joined us from Oya State, and Alester Wilkos, <laughs> who who currently is in Lagos. Thank you for your time. You can continue the conversation of of the program. Thank you for your time. It's nice to see you, my Thank brother. You. Have a lovely evening, sir. <laughs> and uh, to our viewers, we'll take a breather. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take on the two topics discussed today. Please don't go anywhere. <music> to the crisis of... PDP softwares. Is this call by your PDP necessary at this time? I do not think so. Especially when the party recently set up reconciliation committee headed by former governor of Oshun State, Olagun Soye Oyinlola. Maybe I am the uninitiated in the internal politics of PDP, especially in the Southwest. However, it is worrisome that a party that was in dominance in five states out of six states in Southwest in 2003, but due to infighting and internal wrangling, is now trailing with just one state, and yet it is still bedeviled with power struggle. What an overbloated ego balloon of the party chief things. So the resource control, while legal fireworks are anticipated in the coming days, or at worst, threads and counter threads from both regional powers and national power, it only speaks of one thing. The restructuring call is gaining momentum, and the topic of resource control will continue to be at the heart of the agitation. By extension, fiscal 
federalism. In all these fights and rights to resources, the underlying desire is where does this leave the people in whose interest is the fight? This is a question that will continue to resonate as the debate continues. And this is where we call it today on today's edition of Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, on the same station. I am Coyote Ladeinde, saying bye for now.